y'all welcome back to my channel your girl is cooking today y'all know i'll be doing something different every day but yeah i'm cooking some um i'm just gonna get right into it i'm gonna cut these these are pork steaks that i'm doing i was gonna do some i'm gonna cut a little bit around the bone but not too much you know so because these are some big pork steaks you know so we're just gonna cut them in half like that and I'm gonna season them. Y'all already seen how I season my pork steaks and pork chops, so I ain't really gonna get too much into that. <laughs> I'm about to let these fry a little bit, y'all. And I'm gonna get them flipped over and then we're gonna start on the couch. Bye. Bye. Alright, y'all, so we got our big fat cabbage right here. And I guess I don't know if I'm gonna use this whole cabbage, but we're just gonna start pouring this little part out. Kind of little cabbage out. Not with this type of knife. I would do rather me and using this knife. Yeah, you can start corn it. Yeah, this is a dangerous knife, y'all. Don't use this. Get you a good shorter knife too. This one is actually too long, but I don't know where my shorter knife is. So let's use this big baby. Yeah, you can get your core out and you just pop it. <laughs> you pop the camera. But you just pop that core out like that. And that's it. And you can get the rest of that core out too because it's a little bit crooked core. So we're going to go pop the rest out like that. Cut down in there. Pop that little core out. So boom. We got that going, and we're just gonna go straight down the middle. This is a dull knife, so y'all make sure you use a sharp knife when you do it. Yeah, straight down the middle like that. Yeah, we got it. Got two pieces of cabbage. I'm gonna start cutting this one first, and I'm gonna go this way. been watching me cook y'all know I use this all the time I freeze a lot of bell pepper onion celery and jalapeno peppers uh poblano peppers I got a mixture right here red yellow orange um and they've been froze so I put them in the freezer they last a long time I got celery in here yellow orange red green 
white onion. I think I got some green onion in there. Just a whole lot of goodness. <laughs> so I'm about to add this in my water. Now I don't usually put water in my cabbage until like almost close to the end, but I'm gonna boil my cabbage this time because I haven't had that in a long time. My grandmother make curds like that. And uh, I always fry mine. But today, we are doing my grandma's recipe on that cabbage. Okay, so I'm about to add this in my water. I got some salt to my water, and I'm gonna add this into my salt water. And then I show y'all how to season the cabbage. Right. So I added a handful. I'm gonna add one more. Just a little bit. So about that much, y'all, to my cabbage. And I got salt in the water already, like I said. And I'm gonna add my cabbage to the top of this water. It's just a little bit, I don't need a, little, a lot. So just a little bit of oil water. I'm gonna add my cabbage in and I'm gonna start seasoning. And I'll show y'all that too. Alright. In the meantime, I'm gonna flip these pork steaks over. I'm gonna flip these on out. I actually had too much oil in. I don't like that much oil. I'm gonna put top in to make my flour fall off. You know, I don't like that, but they're going to do something. So we'll finish with those. On that side, and while I'm doing it, I'm going to show y'all seasonings in my cabbage. So we're going to do a little, little red pepper flake, just a little. It's a peach. A little chicken bouillon. Peach. Of course, my accent that I had it. Gotta have an accent. Nice amount. It just enhances the flavor. Nothing major. And we're gonna go with a little, just a little Laura seasoning salt. I want to add a few little drops of garlic. It's the pinch of garlic. All right. So, let those flames come good. Y'all, for the next ones, um, I'm just gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna leave these whole. Yeah, I'm gonna leave these two whole. Um, um, fry them whole. So, yeah, that's all I wanna say. <laughs> all right, y'all. That's how my cabbage is looking. It's almost done. Just about done. It's just about done, y'all. 
I'm gonna let it go for another maybe 20 minutes. Let it get all the way tender. Let it all get tender. Help it get down in there. Yeah, so about another good 15 to 20 minutes and it'll be done. I'm gonna cover it back up and let it finish marinating. And I'll show y'all my plate. I didn't do the corn because I was out of sugar. I gotta go to the store and get some sugar and I have to have sweet corn. I'm sorry. It have to be like syrupy sweet. But I'm out of sugar, so no corn today. But I am gonna do some hot water cornbread off camera because I don't wanna make this video too long. And I'll show y'all my plate when I'm done. Right. Okay, I'm doing one more batch before I get all this stuff plated up. Just want to show y'all how I started off. Just a dollop of cornbread, hot water. Self rising cornmeal. That's it. That's how you make our water cornbread. And that's how it look after. That's how it look So easy. And good with some cabbage. <laughs> all right, y'all. As y'all can see, it is all done. I love mine the whole piece. So, yeah, this is my plate. Pork steak. Got that cabbage coming over there. You know what I'm saying? Good cabbage coming over there like that. And then good hot water corn. A simple Saturday night meal. <laughs> Saturday night dinner, y'all. Just simple, you know. Meat and cabbage. A little cornbread, that's it. Like I said, I was gonna do my corn, but yeah, I'm out of sugar, so. Yeah, nah, not tonight. But there it is, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. I love you guys.